Well, we've talked a few times in this newscast about all the storms we had this winter. It was an inconvenience for many of us, but for some who live in certain communities, it had a great impact. Good thing for them, they have a great neighbor. His story is tonight's Bay Area Proud. One big reason people choose to live deep in the Santa Cruz Mountains is a desire to put some distance between themselves and their next door neighbor. Although this past winter, it sure paid to have a neighbor like Daryl Hardy not too far away. In times of need, it's always good to have people around. So when I was coming across this bridge here. That was never more true than in early January up here in the hills above Coralitos when the small bridge that connected Daryl and six other families to the outside world was being overrun by a flooding creek. And it's running a good two, two and a half feet over the bridge. And I could see already that the, uh, the retaining wall on the other side was starting to compromise. I could see it separating from the rest of the, of the road. So uh, I knew we had, we had a real problem coming on. In a bit of quick, creative thinking, Darrell raced to install a zip line across the creek before the bridge collapsed. When it did, Darrell's zip line became a lifeline to the community until the bridge was fixed. For months, it was the only way residents could get out and supplies could get in. But the main thing is being able to uh, survive until uh, things normalize. We'll, uh, we'll uh, have to fill from about where that is. But as we all now know, the storms weren't done by then. Right. And neither, it turns out, was Daryl. Another road in the community had also washed out. This one, the only way for two widows in their 70s to get to their homes. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring material up, we'll shove it off there and you can spread it. So Daryl organized a small work party that has begun the big job of repairing that road so the women can once again get their cars up it. Well, yeah, because I've had to walk, I had to backpack my food and stuff up and beer weighs a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of work for which Daryl, of course, takes no money and only reluctantly takes even a little credit. He says it's the kind of thing you do if you want to be part of a close-knit community, even when it's one where the people don't live all that close together. If you have a great neighbor like Daryl or somebody you know who's done something kind for others, I would love to hear about it so I could share their story in our Bay Area Proud series. You can send me an email at bayareaproud at nbcbayarea.com or reach out to me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Just search Garvin Thomas. You'll find me. Send me a message. I would love to hear about all the great neighbors out there.